on this video, I definitely got to put on this t-shirt. That John Cornish, he's a beast. He's so much of a beast here that he actually has a trophy named after him, believe it or not, here. And actually, it shows his impact from his college days, where he played at Kansas there, that uh, there's an award named after him to recognize outstanding Canadian talent in the NCAA there. And actually, I didn't know until recently that there actually is a trophy named after John Cornish here. And definitely is one way that uh, to recognize his accomplishments and to put the Canadian Football League on the map, as well as the Calgary Stampeders here. As, uh, you know, I definitely, there was many times during his playing career with the Calgary Stampeders that I definitely said he was a beast here. He definitely was a complete running back, in my mind, where he was both strong and fast here. And I definitely say he's the best running back that the uh, Calgary Stampeders have ever had here. I mean, keep in mind, I I was not around to watch Earl Lunsford, Willie Burton, or Lavelle Coleman. I mean, those greats were before my time. But I also do remember watching Kelvin Anderson, Joffrey Reynolds, and those guys were definitely also great. Running backs for the Calgary Stampeders. However, they were not, you know, they were either strong or not fast, and one or the other here. And then we had Jerome Messam after John Cornish here, where Jerome Messam was definitely a power running back, but he wasn't as fast here. But John Cornish definitely, I felt, had that right balance of being both fast and strong here. I know that uh, his career wasn't as long due to having concussion issues. You can have a guy, you know, given knock to Kyrie's Hey Bear of the Montreal Wets here, but, uh, I mean, football careers are definitely not as long, and, I mean, Mike Pringle definitely, I have to say, is probably the best running back overall that I watched in the CFL, and he definitely had a much longer career here, but John Cornish definitely was someone special here, and, uh, I said this award's actually been around for three years, and I actually just first heard about it that, uh, there is a John Cornish trophy, it's called here also known as the Cornish Trophy, or the Cornish Award here. This is all based on Wikipedia here. And it's a trophy that's awarded annually to the Canadian student-athlete who has been the most outstanding player in NCAA football here. Because, I mean, it definitely shows some recognition in the fact that we've had more Canadian talent that has played in the NCAA here, and that's where a lot of players also play their football that eventually get selected in the Canadian College Draft here. And, Jordan Cornish was definitely one of them, where he went to Kansas there. Definitely was outstanding there, and then we drafted him in 2006 here and played nine seasons all with the Calgary Stampeders. And I'd say John Cornish's best season definitely had to have been 2013 there, where he set the record for uh, most yards by a Canadian running back, where he passed Normie Kwong there. He, that's where I definitely thought he had his best season there. You can also say it was impressive what he did in 2014 there, is where he got, fortunately, clipped by Kyrie Hebert there, and he missed half the season, and he still managed to uh, lead the league in rushing there by only playing half the season there, and was a part of the 2014 team that won the Great Cup here. He won the, you know, Lou Marster Award, which is the top Canadian athlete voted all in Canada there. He won that in 2013, which I felt that was his best season, but he won the most outstanding Canadian award three straight times in the CFL in 2012, 13, and 14 there. Despite the fact that we won the Grey Cup in 2014, 2013 was definitely his best season there. And then to continue on what they talk about the uh, award here, is that it's awarded by a panel consisting of Canadian journalists, player personnel evaluators from the Canadian Football League, former NCAA players with connection to Canada, and panelists from the no one Countdown U Radio and TV Pro has known us since 2019 as Great Iron Nation there. The award has been presented since 2017 here, so we've had three winners of this award. But the trophy debuted in March 2019 here, so uh, that's where it's at. It's still fairly it was new here. And then it said the trophy is presented in conjunction with the Canadian Football Hall of Fame in Hampton, Toronto on an annual basis here. And I'll show a picture in the thumbnail and probably the end of this video what the trophy looks like 
from this Wikipedia page here, and you know, it definitely has a mantle with uh, Maple Leaf and John Cornish's uh, picture on there from his college days here, and it's definitely, you know, definitely a nice honor for John Cornish that uh, he has an award named after him for his contributions that he did in college first, and then he did up here in Canada in the K Football League, and then definitely John Cornish. He's still in the Calgary community here, as you definitely see him at football games, where, as the game day ambassador, he's on the sidelines rolling up the fans with the big flag there. And he also, you know, it's also on the game day, you know, posts that you see on stampeters.com or game day there. So he's definitely still involved in the Calgary community here. And then I say, uh, continue on here, in conjunction with the 2017 season, Noah Crown countdown you recognized the top Canadian player in the NCAA football as the KCU Top NCAA Canadian Award. The award has been renamed the John Cornish Award, so this award has been around for a few years, but it was just recently that I heard that it was named the John Cornish Award. Former high school football player, he's from British Columbia. He was actually born in New Westminster there, and definitely, uh, you know, when we won the Grey Cup in 2014 there in Vancouver there, probably felt extra special for him to win it at home there. And he was an outstanding running back at the University of Kansas, as I mentioned here. Cornish Slayer went on to win three Most Outstanding Canadian Awards and the 2013 Most Outstanding Player Award as a CFL member of the Calgary Stamp Piers. And in 2013, I said the Lou Marsh Award as the Canada's top athlete there. Cornish was also the third Canadian running back player to win the Lou Marsh Trophy, joining Russ Jackson and Joe Carl there. And then continue on, which says on the Wikipedia here that Cornish called Crown Countdown you on CBC Sports that he was humbled by the honor. Having a trophy named after you is one of the greatest honors. I hope this award outlasts me. So definitely, I'd say he's a beast. He's a beast of enough to have an award named after him. Patrons of the award are the NA group led by Saskatoon businessman L. David Dubé and project partner Jim Mullen from Vancouver there. So that's all the gist of the trophy here. And then it mentions here you know, a little bit on the selection process here. I'm not going to re read it all here, but uh, I said there's been three winners here. Actually, only two people have won it because uh, in 2017 and 18, Nathan Ork, who actually was recently drafted by the BC Lions, actually this past draft here, in the Canadian College draft here, when he was a quarterback, he played at uh, Ohio, and he's from Oakville, Ontario here. In 2017, runner-up was... He's on the reset, a wide receiver, and then, and he's from Richmond, Mississauga, Ontario there. And then in 2018, when Nathan Ruck won the award again, the runner-up was this year's winner. It was Jim Hubbard, a running back from President Oklahoma State, and he's actually from Sherbrooke Park, Alberta here. And then Chubba Hubbard won it this year, and he's from Oklahoma State. And actually, I believe he's property of, uh, wasn't he with the Raiders? I forget the... Uh, Exactly where he is uh, is now, or I think he's on an NFL team. I just can't find it here right now. But definitely, what's awesome about Shelby Hubbard is that he's Albertan, he's a Gemini, and a great running back here. So definitely, uh, quite an honor for him to win the uh, John Cornish Trophy here as a running back, as John Cornish is a running back himself here. But it's definitely interesting that. I just first heard about this uh, trophy here fairly recently, and definitely, uh, you know, it's going to be quite an honor here to recognize both uh, what he did at the college level and what he did at the CFL here. It definitely puts more of the league on the map here, and hopefully, uh, you know, during this uh, pandemic here, that the legacy of the CFL won't be totally gone because hopefully there'll still be games here, but. Uh, that's another story, and I made separate videos on that. But this is all about John Cornish here, and as I said, he's such a beast, and has a trophy named after him. And it's definitely awesome. And he played all of his CFL career with the Calgary Stampeders, which uh, definitely makes me proud as a fan as well here. So, what do you think about this trophy here? It's definitely a unique way to recognize Canadian talent that we always recognize Canadian talent in the CFL here. But it's even more so that, you know, given more Canadians have been playing 
in the college ball in the NCAA here to launch their football careers beyond school here, that it definitely recognizes that as well here. So what do you think of this award? It's definitely, you know, a neat honor and I mean, definitely uh, I have to be humbled if you ever get an award named after you while you're still around here because, uh, you know, obviously if you have your name memorial award, that means it's recognizing your memory, which is still humbling for the family, but uh, to still be around and have the award named after you is definitely extra special here. So if you say here, if you want to follow along with this Calgary sports fan journey, follow the Flames, Hitman, Roughnecks, and Stampeders. You know what you need to do, just make sure you hit like, subscribe. I mostly talk Calgary sports here, and this kind of ties in that uh, talking about a Calgary Stampeder great who has done a lot of great things on the football career. That he has an award named after him. But I also do personal blogs, attempt a comedy, and I also share my experiences. I'm on the road or at a sport event there. So if that all sounds like you'd be interested to watch to follow along uh, with this Calgary Sports fan's journey, that's all I have on my channel here. I also have my other social media links down in the description below for other ways to follow me here. So if I say here, I go stamps go, and I, I'll see you in the next video here.